There, I made you a practically infinite supply of bombs. So chuck all you like at Electrode. But doesn't but don't underestimate my lord's strength. I very much doubt the likes of you can quell it. Well, if you can't. Oh, I'm doing this without Samuel, but that's not exactly the worst thing. This is a grass and electric type, after all. Uh, is there anyone who I should change the move set of? You're fine. You have Ice Beam, because I taught that to you. So, we'll do that, replacing that. Oh, or a Spear! Whoa! Interesting! Call mine, we'll do that instead. Okay. Um, looks like we're just sticking with Leech Life then. You did not learn anything on the trip up except for when we left. That's how you got Ice Punch after all. But you have Poison Jab too, so we're good there. You have Flamethrower, hello. Yeah, we'll keep. Which one does more? All right, yeah. Might even poison it first with uh, Magby. Marby, I mean. All right, let's do this. I'm ready. <laughs> you have a great deal more pluck than you have sense. I'll give you that. A word of advice: don't stop moving while you're battling that trode. Or you'll be dead in no time. Okay. Hmm. Cutscene. Tree. That's a lot of volt orbs. Whoa, I don't believe it. Oh, jeez! Yeah. Lord of the Hollow Electrode. And now I can't even see his face. Alright then. Bring it. Whoa! How is I supposed to see that coming? What is the... This is a slow moving ball that will eventually explode. Noted. Now there's another. Is it just going to be constantly falling until it explodes? Or until it gets caught in another explosion. No, the other one's still there. Okay, no, it's not. Whoa, 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 whoa! <gasps> Stop! Oh my gosh. Okay. Too fast. It did more dam- it did less damage than the darn Voltorbs I've seen. Poison it. It'll help us more, given how fast this thing is. It'd be cool if you could miss that move. Equal speed, sucker. All right, we'll do that. No reason not to. Here you go. Wow. You 
are just making your fellow ball Pokemon explode. You truly are in a frenzy if you're doing so, so carelessly. Down to run. Okay, here comes the second. I really don't like that sound I'm hearing. I really don't like that sound I'm hearing. Yeah. I tried, but I was on a fainted Pokemon, unfortunately. That's new. Ow. Okay. Okay. Behind me? Yep. Oh, you are just going crazy. All the animation in the world, huh? All the animation in the world went to your moves! Still too fast. Don't paralyze us. <sighs> Might as well. We're not gonna get another chance if we don't. Not like it inflicts actual freeze. Holy. I guess you're still a glass cannon, huh? All speed. Save the trash talk for later, I guess. Ugh. I don't know why these ones are white! I'm finding out. Okay, those are all the way over there. And that was really close. Here we go again. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, what the? What am I getting hit with? Okay, we can end it here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, of course you're smart enough to finally use something that's not thunder. Wow, you are... We're not just over level, right? It's just really done. We okay. I thought I had to throw one more. <laughs> Ooh, dodges. And there we go. It really did just flip it upside down, huh? <laughs> oh, you are hella smaller than I remember. Never mind, you're bigger than you get close. I guess you're happy. Oh, the zap plate. I, usually there's a little thing in my hand, but, you know, sure. Oh, there it goes. Somewhere. <sighs> Oh, what for shame, what utter calamity. I agreed to make those accursed balms, yes. But now that Almighty Sinnoh's precious blessing has vanished forever, 
It's just so unbearably sad. Is that how you see it? Electro's looks some relief to me. Land well, suffering ended probably. Oh, come on, Adam, and seriously? That's just a wishful thinking, nothing more. All your preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit. But if Almighty Sin grows angry with me because of this, I don't know what I'll do. Oh, hey, you arrived, run a schedule, you say, right after everything's over. Now, what did you bother coming back for? I wanted to say that I recalled some things after Lenicus did me the honor of traveling with him. Oh, traveling with me? Hmm? Things to do with a world where I believe I lived before my memories were lost. A land known as Unova. Unova. Most people there caught Pokemon, lived with them, formed supportive partnerships with them. And then there were the Pokemon trainers. And then there... <laughs> The ones we called Pokemon trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked toward the next challenge, and had Pokemon battles every chance they got. All to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. Through battles, trainers forged bonds of understanding with their Pokemon, and with their opponents, and their Pokemon too. And then there was Team Plasma. If Pokemon and po people work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong, or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. Was your world like Ingo described too, Linicus? Can we not have multiverse? Can we not have a multiversal theory, please? Sure was. I come from the future. I would have never thought such a world could exist. Oh, once again, the brilliant Warden Melee has... Oh, shut up. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Oh, really what you're saying is making me yawn. Alright, open your ears, shut that big mouth, and listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger. Only offer friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger. Bring not almighty Sinnoh to sorrow, for that is when time's flow will cease. And there you have it. This music sounds so familiar, but I don't know where. Bravo. Excellent. Please, all of you, do your best and run toward the destination. An even higher state. Of course, your higher state is clear, Linicus. It surely lies with the next lord. Now, this time I really will make the complete return trip to Jubilife Village. Perhaps with someone like Linicus to show that Pokemon need not be feared, the people of Isui will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I owe Commander Kamado my report. Until next time, Linicus. Bye! Can we find a way to honor our past while also forging a better future? Maybe that's what Almighty Sinnoh really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time, and it created everything there is. Even this vast space. Be ready to shield your eyes, grunt. I'm going to polish up myself an electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Okay. <sighs> I don't even think I want to bother making the trip manually, so let's just teleport back. Holy crap, that is a Rotom! Got it. I actually got a. Okay. Okay. I stuck around to um do some other things, but I stuck around just to stick around and wander just for a case, you know. 
I didn't think I'd actually see something neat. Although I saw something disappear like a ghost does, I figured it might- it didn't look familiar and it was flying. I thought it was a ghastly, but it still looked slightly different, so I'm sticking around until nighttime to find out whether or not it was a mischievous, because I need that for, um, Arezu's mission. But passing time is, a uh, kind of annoyingly hard to do. Who is out here trying to annoy me? Oh, it's just you. Way to go. You got yourself held up onto the pillar. Okay, hold on. I just got something new. Black augurite. Where, where is it? Oh, it's over here. A glassy black stone that produces a sharp cutting edge when split. It's loved by a certain Pokemon. It was in the same kind of like casing as like you'd see a magma riser or the protector. Or the reaper cloth as well. So it looks like it's the kind of thing that um, helps Pokemon evolve, but it's new. This is probably how you get Cleavor then. So I just need to figure out what it works on. He was Rock Bug. So. I don't have that much. It's like Scyther and um, Heracross. Scyther, Heracross. I doubt it's a transformation for um, Skorupi. It's like too drastic of a change. Makes sense if it's Scyther, considering the two blade arms. So I'll try that then. I think I even have an alpha one. So that'd be cool to have an alpha Cleavor. If it is Scyther. Might be Scizor. That'd be crazy. Oh, but then I have to get the metal coat too. I'm still sticking around, by the way, for nighttime though. So I'll get back to you guys once that's done. And... Looks like I found the Chingling. I was looking to get that satchel, but... I got no issues with the- oh my goodness! That is a Rhyperior in the back! Ground. Level 50! Jeez! Strong baby! Strong... Strong mama in the back too. I already got a... I got two Alphas. As a Alpha Rhyperior. I mean, Rhyhorns. I could face it though. Get some EXP candy. Can bring back some Pokemon that way. Uh, oh! Hey! Dang, man, you strong. You real strong. Yeah, let's just... Do this another way. It's such a prime time to do this. Okay, good. Please don't miss. It is raining. Come on, I hate it. I was supposed to switch to Water Pulse. Okay, so, did a little bit off the screen, caught a Mischievous, caught a Voltorb, found some Electrovirus, because, well, I got really close to a, um, Mount Coronet, hold on, actually. I also evolved Marby into Magmortar. But more importantly, look at that. I found that while I was just wandering around also. This, I saw, I assume, the Mount Coronet, Spirit Pillar, I mean, actually. All the way over in the distance. And I was just going for a satchel and I found a 
pathway that had like electrovire and some electabuzz and i caught two of those but more importantly yeah this thing that's a gudra that is a hisuian gudra and it's like a snail <laughs> i i wasn't sure what to do about it but i kind of just dodged it for a bit and i just went ahead and i saw a, a gumi and i caught it honestly i forgot gumi was even in the game And I know Leon had it, but it's like the only time he saw it up till now, I guess. But yeah, that is a Hisuian Gudra. I tried to fight it, and I thought it was a um, well, a dragon type, of course. But it resisted um, Thiever's Ice Punch. So it was neutral damage. So it has to be something that resists ice. And then he used Iron Head. And I was like, oh, okay, it's a Steel type. That sucks. So I didn't get knocked out, but I was down to only one Pokemon before I decided to book it and just call it there. Still got that mischievous when I saw it though, so we completed a Razor's mission. Good money, good money. Now uh, that's said and done. Oh hey, that's more. Oh, okay, let's see. Comes to those whose lives have come to an end and escorts their li their souls to the afterlife. Known to mistakenly take the souls of those who yet have life left in them, albeit rarely. The heck. Leave them alone. <laughs> His tail is tipped by a- wait, there's a different one? Oh. Fatter tail. His tail is tipped by a thick, horrible stinger to bring down prey. It will first obscure their vision by covering their faces with its body, and then it will use the stinger to inject them with the venom. Oh boy. I caught two Rotom, Magmortars there. Caught a shield on it, a time distortion, and then we got Mischievous, of course. Alright, yeah. So let's get over, report to Kamado. And uh, figure out what we're doing next before I call it there. I thought, honestly, I thought about going to take care of the um, Gudras, see if I can catch it. And that's why everyone in the team suddenly like both different. Oh yeah, I caught, I, I got two Dawn Stones. One I found in the Sky Tumble Stone and the other I just found in the um, Distortion. So I can get both a Frostlass and the Gallade, once that can happen. I'll see if I can find the routes where I found it before, and that's how I got Vora. Vora! Vora. It'd be cool to have a Gallade, too. I love Gallade, he's awesome. What's your request, though? There you go. Honestly, I thought Mischievous was an all-female Pokemon. I'm surprised to see that this one's a boy. You know, people are afraid of mischievous because of how it apparently wells at night, and very much does that. But getting a good look at this really gives me a fresh perspective. Look how it billows and sways and flows. <laughs> That's it! That's what I'll do! Am I gonna have flowing hair? I just thought of some charming hairstyles and an enchanting new palette of colors. All thanks to you, mischievous here. Come by any time and try out my ideas for yourself. Okay. I had a mischievous back in Sun and Moon. It was a Miss Magius, of course, at that point when I. Did I use it in the. Hall of Elite Four? Not sure. Did I use Satana? I already got missions on that blackboard there. So let's take care of this stuff before I do off screen things. Hmm. Hmm. So Warden Melee believes that the frenzies of these Pokemon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh. Yeah, but he's a bit of a whack job. He only gets in the way, so I don't know if I'd hold if his uh, claim holds water. We cannot know if that is the case or not, but it does beg the question. Why ever would this Almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles to frenzy? Right? This doesn't sound like something Arceus would do. Is it angered by something? 
Or does it seek to drive a wedge between Pokemon and people? Well, far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. And what is that space-time rift anyway? What caused it to open? Mm. But you must be tired. Go on then. To the Wallflower. I prefer not to. Get some rest while you can. Okay. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. Does he have anything else? I feel like we can make rice. I don't know how many hearty greens I always pick up. But alas. Dinner's on Kamado tonight. Eat your fill. <sighs> what an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. Does it smell any different than it does before? Quite a change from the commander's usual preaching about tightening our belts until things grow more stable. Well, I've heard talk about our progress survey, and Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less wondrous, or at least less dangerous task. Yeah, a lady sweeping in the back at 30 frames per second. It's almost like a fairy tale, isn't it? How you've fallen to us from the sky and gone on to help the people of Yasui so much. Indeed, taking on such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust that it is good. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Linicus, and the message is clear as day. I just need a base of operations. It doesn't matter one whit to where you came from. You're part of the Survey Corps in Jubilife Village now. Yeah. So, like, what does Akari do? Where is she, rather, is the better question. And here I am, stretching once again, all on my lonesome. Isn't it nice getting up early? Oh wow, Irida! Is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you do with the day. Can you not? Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities. Such as responding to Commander Kamado's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got that same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Can we not make this a competition, you two? I'd prefer if we just, you know, be friends, you know? Come on, no need to grouse so much over a nice little early wake up. Are you coming too? I'm sure we can all guess what the commander wants with us. Yeah. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. All right then, I'll do that next time. Or not! Screw this. You've now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. It wasn't easy. When word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hisui, I feared what would become of us. But here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. Oh, that one already went berserk too, huh? Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalug, which lives in the Alabaster Icelands. Honestly, I thought it was going to be Zoroark. Zoroark? Yeah, I'll go with Zoroark. He is also the largest of the nobles, according to what Irida told me. It's going to be the largest anyway, given that it's Avalog in comparison to all the others. So what, am I going to, like, go to its arena, and then in reality it's going to reveal that I'm actually just standing on it? <laughs> Your mission is to quell Avalog, the final lord. And perhaps in doing so, you may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Okay. Avalog may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the Galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too. For the sake of a brighter future. 
and let us all meet in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Icelands. Until then. Okay. Finally, I'm going to the ice. Uh, no matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. And your problem is, no small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. So, uh, I'd like to meet those people. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many as possible. And to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. I feel like I've been doing that already. I feel like I've had this talk yesterday. Oh, great. I'm getting ready to talk to someone. Celine. Yeah! <gasps> Abra teleport this Wurple outside at once! Well, it's just a Wurple though. Is it Butisha? <laughs> Abra kind of clipped right there. <clears throat> so, you're to survey the Alabaster Islands next. This is the most treacherous climb you'll face in Ohisui. I've never heard of that word before. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the survey corps that can task with surveying the Alabaster Icelands. You know your orders. See your mission through. Hi, Abra. How's it going? I don't care about my Pokédex. I just want to know the situation. Oh, fine then, whatever. Alright, everyone, I'll see you guys in the next video. Where I will be doing something, stuff, depends. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Probably change my outfit up a little bit. This is nice, but, you know, I might as well change up the colors, if anything. Till next time, take care.